kick it off. Uh, okay. We'll see you on the other side. Ooh, all right, Hit that here button, Judy. I can't get two, over there. One. Yeah! Hey everybody, welcome to GlitchCon. I think that it's just amazing that we all made it through the portal together here. Thank you for being here in chat with me for the very first ever GlitchCon. And congratulations on figuring this portal out together these past few days and making it through to this side. We're all here in this other dimension now, so that is cool. No need to look out your windows or anything. I am definitely an authority on theoretical physics, as you can tell by this bow tie. Usually when I do the whole keynote thing at TwitchCon, I get to see so many of you before I'm on stage. I get to see a bunch of partners. I get to see cosplayers. I get to see people decked out in awesome Twitch merch. Here, I get to see chat, which is of course moving faster than anyone could possibly read in its entirety. But regardless, whatever you do on Twitch, whatever it is that brought you here today, thank you. An event like GlitchCon just can't exist without a community like this. If this is your first time in another dimension, we've got you covered. All GlitchCon long, which is from now until 9 p.m. Pacific, your hosts are going to be guiding you through tons of live content, catching you up on the highlights you may have missed and generally helping you navigate this dimension before it may or may not collapse on us. 2020 has been a challenging year for many people to say the least. I'm not gonna dwell on it long because I think we've already had nine months to think about it, and in my case, grow this beard, but I really do wanna say that we care deeply about everyone who's been affected by this pandemic. And I wanted to share for, with you that for me, what a bright spot you've all been throughout this entire difficult time. We saw people flood to Twitch over the spring and summer, and it was all of you, the creators and communities that welcomed them in. The number of people who came here, joined us, and found some measure of comfort, fun, or community was just so encouraging to see. And it's still going on. This has been a huge year for streamers, new and old. A huge year for music, a huge year for charity. We're gonna get to all of that soon, and the thing that all of those things have in common is you here. I cannot thank you enough for all scooting over on this big digital couch we share and making room for more. Speaking of making room for more, I wanted to share with you a new addition to my life. I would like to introduce you all to my new brand new puppy, Bruno. Oh, Bruno, hi. How you doing? Yeah. Bruno has come through the portal with us and he is perfectly safe and he's gonna be here during the show, maybe making little interdimensional messes. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, okay. I hope you've all found something for yourselves that brought you joy over these past several months. And if so, you should definitely share it with chat. Throughout this stream and throughout the rest of GlitchCon, we're gonna be pulling out some of your best comments from chat and displaying them for everyone to see using a streamer tool called Featured Chat. Those should start popping up right about now. We had planned on setting aside some time near the end of this thing for a live Q&A, but then we had a much better idea. It's obvious that many of you want and deserve a lot more information from us, and a 10 minute Q&A session wouldn't even come close to the level of depth of conversation that we want to have with you. So early next month, we're gonna be holding a town hall staffed by many of our product experts where we're gonna go super in depth about what we're doing and what you, you can ask us whatever you want about DMCA, ads, policy updates, commerce, and more. We'll be able to get way more in depth and chat back and forth, which is a way better way for us to engage on these deeply complex topics. We're sharing more info soon on our social media about how to attend the town hall, and we highly encourage you all to be there. And speaking of DMCA in specific, before we get to the meat of the keynote, I think we need to take a minute to talk about what's been going on regarding copyright on Twitch. In case you missed it, we made an extensive post to our blog on Wednesday about recent DMCA notifications we've received, how you can avoid receiving them, and new tools and educational content for all creators that we've made an immediate priority. We're also keeping an FAQ updated as more questions come up. You can find it pinned at the top of our main Twitter account. Including copyrighted material like recorded music in your Twitch channel without authorization puts your channel at risk of receiving DMCA takedown notices from rights holders. This has always been the case on Twitch, 
But it wasn't until recently that the music industry began heavily targeting archived content. If you receive a DMCA takedown, you should be able to know exactly what the content is. Or if you believe you are authorized, you should know how to contest the takedown. And I think it's a failing of our email to creators on October 20th that we didn't include enough of this information. And it's an issue with our current systems that we're working to improve. Since May, we've seen and been required to process an unprecedented number of DMCA takedown notifications, targeting clips and to a lesser extent, other video on demand content. This has also been a situation we haven't dealt with before, where representatives of major record labels have suddenly taken an interest in enforcement action against content this community created years ago. We should have had better tools ready for you to manage your content, and we wish we did. We're sorry those tools weren't available when you needed them, and that so many creators had to delete their videos, capturing their community's best moments and accomplishments. Copyright law is complex and nuanced, but at the end of the day, things can and must be better for creators. Please read the blog if you haven't, and know that it's just step one in a plan that we're deeply committed to investing in over time. If you have feedback, please share it at the link in the blog, which you can find in the panels below this video and pinned at the top of our Twitter. I assure you that we're going to read it all. We're also hosting live Creator Camp sessions about music copyright starting November 18th that will include Q&A, and we'd love to see you there. Okay, so when we had to cancel TwitchCon Amsterdam and later TwitchCon San Diego, we knew that something had to be done. I know from my own experience, and I hear this every year from this community and from Twitch employees, that TwitchCon is our most energizing moment of the year. It recharges us. Even in a more normal year, going to TwitchCon is a much needed boost of bleed purple. So in a time when that kind of positive energy is more important than ever, we couldn't just have the year go by without all of us getting together in some form, or in this case, some dimension. GlitchCon is our much needed and much deserved day of escape. This community gave thousands of people a much needed break in 2020. Now it's time for all of us to take a day for ourselves together. At GlitchCon, there are no tickets. There's no cost, there's no travel aside from this whole interdimensional portal thing. So we're gonna have more people here than ever. And even though nothing can replace that feeling of taking over a convention center together, I am so happy that everyone has a chance to join us today. From new creators to OG streamers, from just chatting fans to tabletop role players, the portal to GlitchCon is open to everyone. We have some seriously awesome stuff planned for you this weekend, and thanks to the generosity of our amazing partners, Verizon and Adobe, we get to provide this experience to you at no cost, with no tickets and no waiting in line, just fun. So make sure you check to Artist Alley Showcase, presented by Adobe, and Guess the Gamer, presented by Verizon. Okay, so here's how today is gonna work. TwitchCon is a 12-hour event, ending at 9 p.m. Pacific time tonight. Once I'm done doing my thing here, four channels will go live with all kinds of content for the day. Those channels are slash Twitch, slash Twitch Gaming, slash Twitch Presents, and slash Twitch Rivals. Some of what's going on today is entirely new, possible only beyond the rules of our re normal reality. And some of what's coming is classic TwitchCon, like the Loot Cave and the Cosplay Contest, but with a twist, or maybe in this case, a glitch. There's a full schedule available over at glitchcon.tv, and you can find that in the panels below this video. But right now, we're gonna do a quick rundown of what's coming your way. Warning, minor spoilers ahead. Slash Twitch is the main channel of the glitch. This is where you'll find the cosplay contest, multiverse edition, and a glitch run with games done quick, and some robot games, which I'm not gonna say any more about right now, but you should definitely make time for the robot games. Slash Twitch Rivals is where you'll find the best competition in any dimension. We've divided up a bunch of creators into four super teams, and they're going head to head in Fall Guys, Fortnite, League of Legends, and Valorant. In the end, only one super team will be crowned champion and win their share of the $500,000 prize. Esports fans, this may be your home for the day. Slash Twitch Gaming is where you'll be able to explore the past of Cyberpunk's Night City. You'll also be able to come together with other gamers to celebrate the end of the PS4 or Xbox One console era. So be ready to talk about your favorite games of this console generation. You'll also be able to design your own game together in chat somehow. And last but not least, there's Twitch Presents, which this year is our channel dedicated to all things art and artists. You'll be able to create art alongside some of your favorite creative streamers, control a real live human inside the loot house, and there's something called the Kenny Beats Battle Extravaganza featuring Mixed by Ali, which has already captured my attention based on the name alone. GlitchCon is interdimensional, so it wouldn't make any sense at all if it wasn't also global.
We have a ton of incredible co-streaming partners with us today from all over the world who are ready to guide you through all GlitchCon has to offer in nine languages. English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, Thai, and International Sign. That full list of co-streamers is over on glitchcon.tv. So please, check them out and enjoy GlitchCon from wherever you are. You can also co-stream the event yourself with our co-streaming toolkit, which is available on the GlitchCon website. GlitchCon is meant to be a shared experience, so if you prefer to personally guide your community through everything we have in store, that option is all ready to go for you. If you watch any GlitchCon content across any of Purple, Bevel, Dinosaur. And lastly, there are gonna be some great prizes handed out along the way. If you think you can guess what they might be, just remember that everything's a little bit different at Twitch GlitchCon. We had to consult our legal team about some of them, so hopefully that indicates that they're pretty good. The things that we wanna talk about this year at GlitchCon are a product of the time that we are living in. That is the very human need to build and strengthen communities now more than ever. That's gonna be at the center of everything we talk about today. As much as I personally love being on stage and being able to tell you about everything we've been doing over the year, we're gonna be doing it a little bit differently this GlitchCon. I'm gonna be passing the mic to other presenters for each topic as they're the real experts who have been living and breathing these tools, features, and changes for the community for months. First off today, we're gonna to talk about what a year it's been for creators and communities. And there is no one better to kick it off than Aaron Wayne, Director of Community and Creator Marketing. 